What do you call Cheetos? Cheetos. I'm gonna need a really good rebuttal from you guys because I'm a little like, hmm, on this one. The internet show about the most pointless questions on the internet. Love it. <laughs> Just wow. Love it, love it. So I did speech and debate for a week in high school and then I quit because I got too nervous. But I'm really stubborn so I feel like I can make some really great sound arguments. As you can see, you are split into two teams. Team freaking bet. Why are you gonna win? Because we're right. <laughs> Done, great. Team fan favorites, why are you gonna win? Because I think that we've done our research and we know the subject well, <laughs> and we research. already know that, you know, they're not playing with a full deck over there, so. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to meet our incredible judges. Judges, come on out. We've got Michaela and Steve. <laughs> Hello, the most judgmental people you know. Yeah. <laughs> we are gonna have you two deciding our champions today. They'll be determining who wins. If they don't agree with each other, our FBE super fan will get the deciding vote. Mm. Nice. But we're fan favorites. Judges, as in any debate, your decision should not be based on personal opinions, but mm -hmm. rather who best proved their point. Mm. Of course. Okay, cool. Logic. Are you guys ready I to like get it. into it? I'm, I'm ready. ready. Our very first question. Do you pronounce those moving video files spelled G-I-F as GIF or GIF? Ethan, you said GIF. Ari, you said GIF. Ethan, you will begin and your time starts now. Okay, so it's pronounced GIF because for one, it's abbreviated graphics interchanged format. Graphics is spelled with a G, not a J. So graphics, not graphics. That's just logic. <laughs> I like the uh, the logic behind it and how you broke it down and explain everyone rather than just saying this is what I believe in. All right, Ari, are you ready? Yeah. Even the creator said that it's GIF. So if he said it, it's Jeff. The Oxford Dictionary accepts both pronunciations and they are wrong. It's a soft G pronounced Jeff. End of story. The creator she, said it. She brought us a quote. She brought up the Oxford Dictionary. Uh, cited her sources. <laughs> brought the Oxford Dictionary. Cited her sources, that's mm. right. All right guys, so in front of you, you have a sequence of these portable moving graphic image files. Go ahead and hit play and see if that helps change your mind. Oh. It's actually hard, G. Oh. Jeff versus get the peanut butter. Jeff, gif, Jeff, gif. Am I swayed towards the peanut butter? I don't know. I feel I'm getting swayed away more because Jeff is obviously the peanut butter, not the, the file. If anything, it confused me more because each gif I was like, oh, I don't know, I kind of believe this way. Oh wait, no, now I kind of think this way. It kind of pushed me towards like um, a certain point, which was like, I'm gonna go with gif versus Jeff because Jeff is the peanut butter. So debaters, you're each gonna get 15 seconds to try and change the judge's mind again. Why did that sequence of gifts actually prove your point and not the other person's point? I'm gonna stick to my first argument that the creator said it's Jeff. Also, I have words that start with G, but sound like J, okay? Gem. <laughs> All right, your time is oh. up. No! <laughs> All right, Ethan, 15 seconds for your final argument. Are you ready? Yeah. Even though you watched a video that may or may not have confused you further or elaborated further, both of you still generally lean towards saying GIF. It's graphics interchange format. Yes, the creator may have made the statement of, it's pronounced this way, but everything changes all the time based on how people feel and what they think sounds right. Judges, are you ready to make your final decisions in the first round of the clickbait? I am. I am. I'm gonna I have you concur. guys point to who you think the winner is in three, two, one. Oh. We have a split decision. This means the swing vote will be our FBE super fam. Are you guys ready to find out what yes. the FBE yes. super fam said? I'll yes. Said. I know they're gonna disagree with me. <laughs> no, 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 hold strong, hold strong. <laughs> Come on, super fam. The FBE super fam says it's pronounced GIF. Oh. Oh. My logical people, thank you very much. Okay, Sharon and Tori, don't rein it in on the next question. Is water wet? <laughs> Here we go, your time starts now. A lot of people have the conception or the impression that water in fact is wet, but it isn't. Water is a substance and what, what is wet is the ability of water to adhere to a substance. So water itself cannot adhere to itself. Wow. So let me give you an example. I can put this shirt in water and it's wet. I then put it in the dryer, it comes out dry. So if something is wet, then you can dry it. Can you dry water? Yo. All right, wow. Sharon, that's your time. All right, Tori, your time starts now. 
So let's first dissect a little bit further about what water is exactly. It's H2O, two hydrogen bonds and an oxygen is what water is. The state of matter is a liquid, which if you know your state of matters, water can in fact dry because it can turn into a gas and an evaporation. But also the University of Santa Barbara defines water as made of liquid or moisture. And that would mean that all liquids are wet because they're all made of liquids. Yo, that was some solid, like, big words mm -hmm. from each person. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have a couple more brain cells after that yeah, one. Yeah. All right, guys, are you ready to put it to a physical test? <laughs> it's just water bottles <laughs> and a paper towel. Well, I'm gonna see if this water's wet by consuming it first. Let's see. <laughs> the towel is wet. My hand is wet. My tongue is moist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait till the rebuttals to see if anyone mm -hmm. can, you know, like, add on to their arguments because both were very solid. Yeah, and very. Then... Tori, this time you're gonna start. You're gonna have 15 seconds. If we're going to the Sharon's definition of a liquid having to adhere to something, water molecules stick to themselves. And even though it's a liquid sticking to a liquid, you can still make glue wet. You can make other liquids wet. So, that being said, water is wet. All right, Sharon, are you ready? Yep. Time starts now. Water is not wet, and your example of the glue, then why doesn't glue stick to itself? And water doesn't dry, it goes into steam. And what is steam? It's water, because if you ever boiled a pot, the steam rises, and what happens? There's water up on top. So it doesn't dry, it manifests into another form. All right, judges, it's decision time. Point to the winner in three, two, one. You this girl! <laughs> This girl. Both their debates was super solid. But, but the rebuttal was really good. The rebuttal good. where she tried to explain me. how the whole steam thing mm -hmm. versus it becoming dry, I was like, got me there, Chief. Next up, we have a very, very important question. Brittany and Austin, it is your turn to debate. Tell me, are Cheetos chips? <laughs> <laughs> an age-old an age query. Ready? Ready. Your time starts now. So first off, I Google search what Cheetos were made of. What Cheetos is, is there, it's uh, blended corn and water. And then corn chips, what it is, is a snack food made of, of corn chips that are thick, rigid, and very crunchy. Which, if you look at a Cheeto, they are very thick, very rigid, and very crunchy. So... Cheetos or chips? Austin, are you ready to rebut? I sure am. So first off, the Oxford Dictionary definition of a chip is a thin slice of food made crisp uh, by being fried, baked, or dried and eaten as a snack. Now, a Cheeto is not a thin slice, it's obviously cylindrical, so it's all about the thickness. The chips are literally defined by the thickness or thinness. All right, let's bring out an IRL version of this. Uh -huh. yeah. Ooh, mm, so oh my sweet God. mama. All right, judges, how do you feel about this assortment of Cheetos? My mouth is watering, I can tell you that much. I'm gonna need a really good rebuttal from you guys, because I'm a little like, hmm, on this one. Austin, you're gonna start rebuttal. 15 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Three points real quick. One, when you go to the food store, you say, Chips or Cheetos, if you're thinking about it. You don't say chips and associate Cheetos with them. The second thing is that in 1948, the guy said that they invented Cheetos, sure. You guys weren't persuaded by the originator of the GIF saying it's GIF. It's what people say it is. And they say it, Cheetos are not chips. All right, you're ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, your time starts now. So Austin brought up a point that chips are made out of whatever they're thin. So Cheetos instead essentially are compacted chips because they're just like rolled up. And, and also they're a different type of chip. So you have tortilla chips, you have Corn chips, and that's what Cheetos are made of. It literally says on the f***ing website that it's corn chips. <laughs> Point to who you think won this debate in three, two, one. Bet. Sorry. Okay. Hell yeah. You're wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I ask Austin a question? Yes. What do you call Cheetos? Cheetos. Cheetos. <laughs> there's chips, and then there's Cheetos. Okay, yeah. so and a man of culture knows the difference. Our next question is chaos. one that we really need worked out. Should power walking be an Olympic sport? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Ethan, are you ready to start? Yes. And your time starts now. Power walking is also known as race walking, and race walking has been in the Olympics since the 1960s at least. Race walking, it is a sport, and it's already in the Olympics. All right, Sharon, opening statement. You're gonna have 30 seconds, and your time starts now. Is power walking or race walking already an Olympic sport? Yes. But just like you in debating, just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> Because you see, power walking is like power knitting or speed strolling. We were built to run. That's why we stood up. <laughs> All right, how do you feel about those preliminary arguments, judges? I feel like I got a lot of passion from both of them. And I'm like, just trying to think like, who had the better argument, not who intimidates me the most. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah a power walker know. comes in here, I'll do something funny. I'll run. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, go, oh, yeah! yeah.
we'll get him down. JC was running a little bit, but we won't count it. I'll you know that. why? Because the body's not meant to power walk. Or, or, that was my favorite yeah. demonstration of them all. <laughs> wow. Are you ready for I, no, some rebuttals? I, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready, ready for, for rebuttals. This. Sharon, you're gonna have 15 seconds. Your time starts now. I think the demonstration proved my point that power walking belongs in an office not on an Olympic track. One of them even started running. You know why? Because you can't power walk. Your hips go all quacky wacky. Quacky wacky, that's the word of the day. <laughs> it's a it's a scientific word. So power walking, the reasoning for that is to maintain, uh, be able to maintain energy for the duration they'll be going because average uh, power walkers are essentially doing marathon distances. The average no. speed is only about 7.7 uh, 7 .7 miles per hour. So that's not that fast. And we're just not even running speed. All right. Point to who you think the winner is in three, two, one. Hell yeah. But yeah. do you see how right. into that I got when they walked in here? And that's a sport I'd like to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, did not get to cast deciding vote this round. However, they felt that power walking was not an Olympic sport. Thank you. Yeah. Tori, Austin, it's all up to you guys now. Good luck to the both of you. Yeah, guys. Yeah. The question is, dogs or cats? Oh. Tori, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh okay, your time starts now. There is one animal that is man's best friend, and that is the dog, because dogs are historically have been man's best friend since the beginning of time. They can offer protection. Even if they're small dogs, they can be, still be in like an alarm system for you. Dogs are also more obedient and easier to train. There's also a lot of, a wider variety of different sizes of dogs, depending on your lifestyle. If you want a small dog, just indoor dog, there's an option for that. If you want a big active lifestyle, then you can get a big dog. If you want a family dog, there's lots of those, because every dog is a family dog. <laughs> That was a that was a good. This is the okay. this is the one I'm the most passionate about. So I'm ready to bring it. Awesome. Let's go. Are you ready? I guess why not? Everyone says that dogs are man's best friend, but you should look at it from a different angle. First of all, what do we teach our kids to be? We teach them to be independent, not dependent on other people, just generally not full of shit. Cats versus dogs. The number one difference is they're dependent versus independent. Dogs are super dependent on you. They want all your love and attention. You defeat them constantly. Cats are their own animal. I'm trying to put my bias away because mm -hmm. I love both. Teaching your kids. Yeah, yeah. That was strong. Protection, yeah. near and dear to my heart. <laughs> a, a family dog for is for everyone. Love it. All right, guys, are you ready to put this IRL to the test? Yes. I am. Okay, let's see if our, uh, our little fluff nuggets are ready. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah. Yay. This is Bigaro. Oh my goodness. Hi, Vic. Hi, Vic. Support you guys match. Oh, we do. Oh, oh, oh see, look. She's just like, She's I'm not about this. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Spencer, go ahead and visit our judges okay. over here. Oh What's my up, buddy? God. All right, Spencer, do you want to meet Team Frickin' Bet? No, nah, he's like, yes. I'm ready to dip, fam. <laughs> see, even the dogs running away from your argument. Oh, no. You feel just like my hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Austin, your time starts now. Okay, so two main points. First, you've never heard of a cat attack because even though cats can scratch you, they can't do as much damage as the dog. Their bite isn't nearly as much, they don't scratch as much. Second thing is that a real relationship is a partner who's equal to you and can walk away from you or come to you isn't dependent on you like a dog is. It's not about obedience, it's about partnership. All right, Tori, are you ready for your rebuttal? <laughs> this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart and I'm ready to do this. A dog wants nothing more than to be your good boy or good girl. And if you want something to care for and love, a dog is perfect for that because they'll love you right back. If you want something that's more the equivalent of a pet rock and wants to be independent, then that's a cat. Go ahead, go for it. Dogs can also be service dogs and everything on cats is sharp. They're a little bit painful and you never want to declaw them. Yeah, I have a dog and a cat, so it's like I, I love them both equally. I don't either. I'm seeing both sides yeah, very yeah, yeah, clearly. Yeah, yeah. Dogs are cats. Point to the winner in three, two, one. Decision. This means we'll be going to our FBD Super Fam for the final deciding vote. Drum roll. And Super Fam says, dogs are better than cats! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> freaking bet, congratulations, you yeah. are the winner! Yeah. Yeah. Bet, freaking yeah. bet, freaking yeah. bet, no yeah. cap, bet, no yeah. cap. Yeah. Yeah. I should have won. I, all love I will say cats are far less popular than dogs, and I'm happy to fight for them anytime. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Clickbait on the React channel. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Subscribe for new shows every week. Which debate was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, React producer Mary here. Do you want to be involved in making episodes like this one? Well, then be sure to join our FBE Super Fam. Just click the link down in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.